Here we go. All right, what's up, guys? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the WrestleMania 28 review. Review. You guys told me to get a co-host, and I have, and it's what a night tonight, people. All right. What a night. Let's start with the first match, she uh, Sheamus and Daniel Bryan, which was pretty much an 18-second yeah. match. What are your thoughts on it? Uh, you know, I mean, yeah, I, I, I thought uh, I would like to uh, better fight, like a longer fight, but you know. Was... Yeah, cause I don't know, I don't know if that'll be screwed over Daniel Bryan, yeah. but I think the crowd wanted to see Sheamus and Daniel Bryan. It were, this could have been a real good match, right, right, even though right. an 18 second bout right. and him win the world title that it was just easily. Hit, though. I mean, it was just, just a bro hit. kicking yeah. that say it could have been long and then you got the crowd nearly channel Bry Daniel Bryan throughout the whole night. Oh, I, yeah, they did yeah. kind of school Daniel Bryan. This could have been a really good match, but yeah, to fill in the time for the later matches, it was a lot. Yeah. Uh, next match, uh, Kane and Orton. Yeah, Kane and Orton. Um... I thought that was pretty decent, you know. I mean, I mean, it was just it was old. decent. Yeah, it was decent. I didn't expect Kane to win with the choke slam yeah, off the top either. rope, I but was... um, it was decent because I kind of almost thought this match was gonna be boring when I was born on the card. It was all right. I'll, I'll give it. An, I'll give it an all right match. Yeah, it wasn't the was best because right, I mean, it was just. I thought it was thrown so. together, even though some whatever they did last year with this feud. Right. Uh, next one. Um. Divas match fucking sucked. Yeah, that sucked. I, mean, I didn't care. Nah, I mean, I, the crowd kept chanting Daniel Bryan. Yeah. I was chanting Daniel Bryan in tag, right, and right. Maria Menounos had no business in the ring. You know, she's been in there before, and yeah. it, won the match again. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, Kelly, Kelly Kelly, and they Kelly won the match. One, yeah. Um, what else happened? Uh, other matches that happened. Then the end one. of an era match. Oh, which yeah. was brutal as crap. <laughs> what? Even that Undertaker was, with a mohawk. That was nuts. This man. was an insane match with Undertaker and Triple H. It happened was what makes sense, though, in this battle, right, though. Because right. I've seen Shawn Michaels super kicking Undertaker, and Undertaker's like, oh, keep it going. Right, right. And the, the chair shots. So you, you, to man, take that many that chair was shots. so many chair shots, man. I, I mean, that was the most. Sick. Seen in one fight. Oh, Sick, but this this was a brawl. Like, I gotta say this. this oh, yeah, but oh, yeah, because yeah, I just wonder what era was in it. Because a lot of this feud didn't make much sense coming into this. But it was a brawl. Because Shawn Michaels, Shawn Michaels, like, who, who do I count for? Who do I count for? Either you end it or I end it. He just had that slam chamber. He was like, let's go. <laughs> and Undertaker, man, pretty much. Took on Triple H, man. Took that sledgehammer match. That Triple H had nothing yeah, to just say yeah, to suck yeah. it. And got Tombstone. It was over. It, it was a brutal match. It was hard fought. Right. I say it could have been the highlight of the night. It was one of the biggest matches of the night. All right. That was when was was getting the show popping off. Then I got to say that with Undertaker Triple H. Yep. And then the next one was. Yeah, you, got anything add? you got anything else to add? Cause it's twenty and oh. I don't know whose era ended, and they had they pretty much picked Triple H up and. Yeah, they pretty much all three and walked out of it. I don't know whose era ended. The streak is still intact. Yeah. Twenty and zero. Like I've said before, but what's gonna happen next? Cause Ooh, what a what yeah. a battle. Uh, Team Johnny versus Team Teddy, which they should have did before the, the you know Undertaker yeah, I was match. Thinking of that same thing too. I don't. Uh, what I heard was well, um, Miz hit Skull Crusher finale on Zack Ryder and <laughs> and I don't know. He pretty much got involved. Involved, yeah. you know, do uh, like try to because yeah. right into Brosie Boone and you know, right's got nut shot. So, Lord Nidus now runs this beats the point of brands if him running both Raw and SmackDown now. It kind of beats the brands. Like they said, that, uh, like I was talking about, it, like the yeah, Super Show, which that it was just like a cage thing where they just like elimination. Yeah, it should have yeah. been an elimination kind of thing, other than a sick, a 12 man tag. Yeah. It should have just been a just an elimination, elimination oh, yeah. tag, elimination tag. Yeah, yeah elimination oh, tag. That would have been way better. Um, but I just thought to add uh, the, the Brodus Clay segment was kind of funny, and uh, yeah, probably was, the Flow Rider. Yeah, the Flow Rider, and then the him. other one, and the Machine. But then what I call tonight the show stealer, uh, if in my eyes a little. CM Punk versus Chris Jericho, which was fucking technical oh, as hell. Yeah. It was raw. I gotta that say, that's, that was probably the show steal of the night. And I've said this before, and I said it was gonna be the biggest match of the night with, um... The best of the world? Yeah, who would be the best in the world, especially if the, from the Anaconda Vice just reverse into the walls of Jericho. Was reverse, reverse to pin to reverse. Punk. It was brutal. I got to say this. It, we were going to see who was the best. Because right. if CM Punk got disqualified, he was also tight. And Jericho just yeah. pretty much saying, like, like, your sister, your mother, and all this and that. Yep, yep, yep. 
and it it was it was I say it was probably the show steal of the night. It was very one of the best matches out there. Mm -hmm. It was great. It was it was really really great. Just a bunch of and now and a Turner man. All the we get to, and now the main event. Cena versus the, the Rock. Rock, the Great One. Once in a lifetime. Yes, the the Doctor Thugonomics. Oh yeah. Uh, pretty much kind of star town, you know, Flo Rida, Machine Gun Kelly, yeah. Kelly come out, you know, um, Diddy just, was out just, there. Just entertain the fans, you know. I just performed, what was funny, performing the songs, they had their own thing, oh, so. Yeah. But, uh, with the Rock and Cena match, it was a good match, I'll say that. Now, the Raw of Monday, because I thought the Raw did kind of ruin the build-up to coming into, uh, WrestleMania, because it was a very horrible Raw last Monday. If, if, you, if you're going to have your last show before Mania, it's got to be big, because all you did was rehash the same shit for three weeks and didn't do that much. Yep. And, uh, but they, it was made up for the night. WrestleMania is really big, and with The Rock and Cena, it was a brutal, it was a good match. It was a great match, I got to say that. It was big out there, rock bottoms, FUs, all over the place, people's elbow. But when it got to that ending part, Ooh, Cena trying to do the, uh, the people's the elbow, yeah. Easy, rock the, bottom, it was yeah, over. Yep. This Now they true pr prove the rock is the great, maybe probably the greatest of all time. Because yeah. a lot of people, a lot of people told me Cena was gonna win because we have seen Rock and Hogan before, yeah. and we well, all knew Hogan. Was Hogan that won that one, I believe. It was Hogan that one. Or was that yeah, Rock? Hogan. Uh, yeah, won it was that. Hogan. Was that? Yeah. Yeah, I believe Hogan yeah, won. Hogan yeah, Hogan won that one. Yeah. But I don't know. People thought Cena was going to beat The Rock. Yeah. And this has been a year in the making. Mm -hmm. I thought it was be good last year. They should have did the match last year. Really. Yeah, well, you cause it, I, yeah if you're going to do it, so it was a year in the making. I get that. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, The Rock still got it. We know that. But we they should have did it last year pretty much. Because the fuel was better last year. But coming into this year, it kind of had the sucking flaws. Until they did the, it, the best thing I thought was the concert and the, the rap thing. Yeah, Cena the rap did. thing. <laughs> that, that, that was big. Was, yeah. That was pretty. But the uh, uh, Rock beating John Cena, I guess now probably may solidify him the greatest of all time. Now I don't know if it was the best WrestleMania of all time. What did you think? Was this a really great rest? I say it's a great. It was a good WrestleMania. It was a good one. But I say it was the he, best of all time. Now. Well, yeah, I, I can. Yeah, I can say that. You know, I mean, you know, I didn't really see last year's, but I see its know. flaws in uh, Undertaker. And Triple H match yeah, was still brutal. Yeah. I still thought last year was kind of better, but it was still brutal that's, in this one. It was, still, it was still great. It was yeah, still great. Yeah, yeah. And stuff. It was still a great match. The top three matches I saw tonight was Undertaker and Triple H, mm -hmm. CM Punk and, CM Jericho, Punk and Jericho, and Rock and Cena. Rock and Cena. Those are like the biggest matches of all time. I wish the world title could have had like that. Oh, yeah. We almost forgot Big Show winning the uh, Intercontinental oh, yeah. title. Yeah. Yeah. That was. Uh, at least he won't lose to WrestleMania. Well, at least he yeah, didn't. At true. least. Uh, we'll see how long his title reign goes, I guess. Yeah. For Big Show. Since he beat Cody Rhodes. Uh, but to add on, uh, any final thoughts? Um, to Raw tomorrow night? I just hope it's a good one, you know? I mean, like how it is mostly every every Monday, you know? Well, coming into WrestleMania, I had my doubts. I didn't want it to be mediocre because people have been telling me this company's going to suck after Mania because yeah. they don't have Rock, and I don't know what John Cena's going to do next. But I thought I see, I saw its flaws. I saw where it was raw. I think this is a really good WrestleMania, though. Uh, for my review, I'm going to give it a uh, 9 out of 10. Yeah, I'll give the same 9 out of 10. That was. I, I thought it was really good. And uh, remember, comment, subscribe. You know me. That's the PA night. Because tonight we saw the jabroni beating. Wow. Pie eating. Trail blazing. Eyebrow oh, raising. Blazing. Hey, I don't mess up my rhyme. So don't put this on Botchamania. Because tonight, <laughs> April 1st, Sunday, <laughs> 8 o'clock p.m., I was at WrestleMania. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Now, two tears in a bucket. If you ain't down with that, I got two words for you. Suck it. And seeing the people in the Hall of Fame was really good, too. I don't know why you had the haircut, but uh, Flair, Rick Flair did show up. Flair did show up, though. Yeah, Flair did show up. So know, it was a good, it was a good WrestleMania, though. We'll see what's gonna happen since the aftermath of Samoa Night Raw. I wish they could have kept Jim Ross out there. I'm glad they brought Jr. Yeah, out there. Yeah, I was. It I made mean, I was, sense. It made I mean, I sense. I was surprised, but I was like, no, so they had like, to put Jim Ross out yeah, there. Yeah. At least there was blood in this match for the Hell in a Cell. True. I want to say it was watered down all the way, but it was a Hell in a Cell. And I'm gonna end it right here. Comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys tomorrow night for the Raw review. Peace, this is my co-host right here. Plus, you guys told me to get somebody else for a review. Here All the I live am. reactions, and I got it for you guys. So I'm out. Peace. See ya. Monday Night Raw tomorrow night. Peace. Out. Best in the world.